Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the Daily Stock Market and you guys are going to absolutely love the video today because I'm going to lay out about five different swing trades very easily for you guys. I'm going to tell you guys where I'm buying, where I'm selling, and some of my favorite swing trades that I'm loading up on or that I already have loaded up on in the past few weeks. And we're even going to go over some swing trades that I think are ready to pop as well. So make sure you watch this full video so you can see all the different stocks I talk about. And don't forget to just stop right now, hit that subscribe button or hit the like button if you're already subscribed. It helps me out tremendously and it only takes a few seconds of your time. And these videos take me a super long time to make, edit, you know, even research the topics of them. So it is very much appreciated. So let's get right into the video and let's make some money with this video as well. So the first stock we're talking about is Wix. And if we pull up a chart on Wix, we can see they're down 29% in the last three months. This is a great company I've been talking about. And we've been swing trading in the past, making money off consistently. As you can see, it drops that $220 support and then goes back up. Right now it's at 211 so we have some... Uh, opportunity to make some good money. I have eight shares. I have $1,800 just in my Robinhood account, and I have even more in my Webull account. I have another $2,000 in my Webull account, totaling around $4,000 into Wix swing trade. And I'm looking to sell right at 275, 280, even 290 or 300 is a great place to sell Wix and slowly start taking profits as it goes up 20. 30% swing trade in the next couple of months here. I want to get through a few different stocks for you guys. So we're going to go a little bit quicker and comment below which stocks you want me to do a little bit more of a deep dive on. But the next one up is going to be Zoom, ticker symbol ZM. And it's down 14% in the past month, 22% in the past three months. And in the past year, it is currently sitting at a 52-week low, giving you a great opportunity to make 20 to 30% gain on this swing trade. This one might be a little bit longer of a swing trade, could take six months or even longer. So it's more of a long-term swing trade. You can see I have three shares currently in my Robinhood account. I have another about three shares in my Webull account also, about $2,000. We're down 8%, only $87, which is obviously not a big deal because I plan on holding this for at least six months. I think that Zoom's a great one. And for longer term holders, I think that this is a great one because if you plan on holding even 12 months, in my opinion, I think Zoom can even go as high as $400. Again, remember, it was at $500 not that long ago, almost one year ago, it was about $500. It was almost two times, 100% gain is what it basically needs to get back to its all-time high. So in my opinion, Zoom is good for a 20 to 30% gain in the next six months or so. Now, Pinterest is another stock we've been talking about on the channel for a while. In the past month, it really hasn't moved much yet. So there's still time to get into Pinterest. In my opinion, it's down 25% in the last three months, presenting an opportunity still. And you can see that it goes through these um, up and down cycles. Now, overall, it is moving down, as you can see here in the last year or so. It's down like 23% if you take out the highs and lows. But the good news is that it does go through these highs and lows. So even though it's moving down, I'm sure it's going to bounce back up at least 20% and go to around $70 per share or so. So I think that's a great place to take profits. And it can obviously even get to $75 or higher again. Now, this one could definitely take a few months, like one to three months to even see some gains on. We have 30 shares in my Robinhood account. We're down about $100, which is not a big deal because I think that once we record this video again and do an update on these swing trades, I think Pinterest will be around $60 per share or higher. Now, in my opinion, I only want to be buying below $55 per share, closer to $52 if possible. And a lot of people are wanting to do option trades on something like a Pinterest, but there's no telling when it's going to pop up. So in my opinion, the swing trade is the safest thing to do with something like Pinterest. Okay, next up, let's talk about SoFi. And let me know if you guys like this style of video where I go a little bit quicker and just go over price points and alerts and not do as much of a deep dive into them. So SoFi is down uh, up 8% in the last month, down 33% in the last three months, 
presenting a buying opportunity for everyone currently watching this. And you can see right at that support, right around $15 a share, $13 a share is a great place to get into SoFi. They're at that support currently and they spike back up. They've spiked up a few times and we've seen them around that $20, $25 level a few times. I want to be selling a few, a lot of my shares around $18 to $20 per share. And then for long term, I think $25 per share or more is very achievable for something like SoFi. Remember, this is a very new company still. They have a lot of proof. And I think that SoFi is going to be one that makes it. So even if you plan on holding for a year or two years, I think that's a great decision for something like SoFi. Now, this one is a little bit more risky because it's a newer company. So we don't have a lot of data and everything to go off of. But overall, I think they are a solid pick for a swing trade. Now, I know we've talked about ChargePoint a lot on this channel already, but you know we definitely have to add them to this video because they definitely are primed and ready for a swing trade down 36% in the last three months. They've been beaten down and they have established a very strong support right here around $20 per share. So if you can build your position under $21 or $22 per share, as close to $20 per share or lower as possible, that's going to be very good for your portfolio in the next three to six months. Now, the good thing about charge points, they're also a long term hold. So if you plan on holding for one or two years or more, there's high probabilities and high chances that charge point can get to $30, $35 per share or even breaking new all time highs. Now, Wish is also a swing trade that I want to talk about a little bit as well. Down to $6.63 in the last three months. They're absolutely destroyed down 44%, which needs like a 60 or 80% gain to make it back up to that like $10, $12 mark. So if you're going to swing trade up to $10 per share, I think there's a high probability that Wish can go to $10 per share in the next three to six months. So it's a little bit longer of a swing trade, but it's a great percentage gain. You know, I think Wish is good for 60%, 80% gains in the next three to six months. Especially if you haven't built your position in Wish yet, they're a great one to look at. They're only $6 per share. If you already have a position in, into Wish, I think they're a good one to dollar cost average in and bring your average cost lower and lower as possible. However, you don't want to have too much portfolio diversity on something like Wish. You know, over 5% is a little bit high on portfolio diversity for Wish because it is a riskier stock. And we've known that ever since it IPO'd, you know, going straight up and then falling off a cliff from $24 per share all of the way down to $6 per share. So in my opinion, Wish can be a 60% increase. It's a little bit riskier, but this is going to be a great video to look back on a couple months from now, three months from now. So make sure you like this video and save it to a playlist so you can actually look back on this specific video and see how well it aged. Now, talking about swing trades that we kind of already made some money on, a Fiverr's up 24% in the last month. We're up around 13%, $200. We have nine shares, $1,800. And I also have around $1,000. I'll actually put how much I have on Webull. So on Webull, we have another $1,300 of Fiverr with a 17% gain on something like Fiverr as well. So we've been making money off some of these swing trades. Spotify, we also have a very similar position and a similar gain, $1,400 of market value on my Webull account with a 17% gain. And if you guys don't have Webull yet, I highly recommend it. DM me on Instagram and I'm doing a giveaway. If you sign up with my Webull link, you get two free stocks from Webull, plus I'll Venmo you 10 extra dollars for using my link. And Spotify on my Robinhood account, they're killing it too, up 21% in the last month. We're up 8% at five shares, $1,300, a very similar position. I still think they do have some ways to go. I think they will be a $300 stock again. It's just going to take some time for Spotify. So I hope you guys really did appreciate that video. It takes time out of my Sunday to make these videos for you guys, show you exactly what I'm investing in and help you guys make money absolutely for free. These YouTube videos are absolutely free. So smash the thumbs up. That's all I ask for return and leave a comment below on what stocks you want me to talk about in the future or what stocks that you want me to do a deep dive on in the future as well. 
if you want to get into my premium content, which is a lot more customized and also a lot more direction involved, telling you exactly when I buy, how much I buy, so you're not missing out on any of these swing trades when they're happening, make sure you DM me on Instagram because I'm accepting a few more people into my close friends list for my mentorship program. Now I'm up 46% in the past year, so we've absolutely been killing it. And I think if we check my account in one month or two months, we're going to have around a 60% gain because I expect to make a lot of money between now and the end of the year. So make sure you subscribe to watch my account grow. And the goal, you guys know, we're a road to 100K in my Robinhood account. My total portfolio, I probably have 250K in the stock market between all my accounts. You know, just my Weeble and Robinhood account have over $100,000. But the goal is $100,000 in my Robinhood account in the next couple months. And I think that we can definitely make it happen. So if you guys want to be along for the ride and see some of my stocks that I'm investing in and I'll help you make money, make sure you hit subscribe, share with a friend if you think that they can find some value in it. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.